So come forward and do the right thing. That is a local bike group's message to the driver who hit and killed a cyclist riding with a group last night through Montrose. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield joining us now live with the effort to find that driver who left the victim there on the street. Hey, good afternoon. This was a large group of cyclists, at least 50 of them. So when the riders saw one of their fellow cyclists go down, some of them were told actually chased after the silver Mercedes E-Class sedan, hoping to catch him. Unfortunately, they didn't. Now they're hoping that someone with information will come forward, if not the driver himself. He was a friend. He's a strong ally, a father, a brother, a friend, a, a cyclist. And his life was taken last night by a driver who left after hitting the 45 year old cyclist, according to police. Pride Bike Ride Houston identified the victim as Shane McKinney. He was riding in the group of at least 50 cyclists down West Dallas Street in their weekly ride as they approached Montrose Boulevard just before eight last night. The only thing that I observed that there was a vehicle speeding off. David Laredo was in the front of the pack of cyclists when tragedy struck the back. Houston police say a silver Mercedes E-Class sedan was driving behind the group when McKinney lost control and fell. He was hit by the sedan that sped off. We have to take something forward with this and we need to learn how to move forward and cohabitate because we're not going to have a bike lane on every neighborhood street and every major intersection. Laredo says their group is deeply affected by what happened. He hopes that this father's death serves as a wake up call to everyone to share the road with cyclists. There's already too many ghost bikes out in the Montrose area. Cycling is not just a fun thing. It's a method of transportation. It's people's livelihood. It's their car. Pride Bike Ride Houston usually rides every Tuesday night, but Laredo told me, uh, told us today that they plan to take a couple weeks off after what happened to this fellow member of their crew. Live in the newsroom, Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.